See this wall? Let's paint it. Here are my favorite tips for cutting in. Tip number one, it's the most important. Pick your brush for cutting in. I always use Purdy's clear cut brush. Why? Because it has an angled edge with stiff filaments. This provides more controlled, crisp, and clean lines. And I use it because it means I don't have to use this. Goodbye, painter's tape. Do you know how much time that saves you? <laughs> Tip two. Load your brush two-thirds the way up the filaments and pat it along the side of your pail. Tip three. Whether it's cutting into a corner, around a window trim, or where the wall meets the ceiling, move parallel to the area to be cut. Lightly apply pressure and press the filaments into the wall to make them fan out. This is called blooming. Tip four. Follow the line in a long, smooth stroke until the line of paint begins to break up, and then repeat. Always begin painting over the previous area where you left off. Now that I've finished cutting in on that wall, it's time to get rolling. Tip number five is make sure you choose the right type of roller cover. Use a smaller nap for a smooth surface. Use a larger nap for a rough surface. Since I'm painting a smooth wall, I'm using this Purdy Ultra Finish Roller Cover in a 3 8 inch nap. I'm using Purdy's 9 inch roller frame, their Power Lock Extension Pole. Tip six, fill the tray one third full. Load the entire surface of your roller with paint. Tip number seven, lightly roll the paint upward in a slight angle. Use long strokes for an even finish. Start painting from the unpainted surface area into the wet edge of the previously painted section to avoid lap marks. Once the paint is dry, repeat all those steps, let it dry again, then sit back and enjoy your beautifully painted wall. <laughs>